Hi, my name is Mike Levine. I am Senior Arctic Fellow with Ocean Conservancy, and I am here in uh, the home office in Juneau, Alaska with my son, Zev. Hi. We are going to spend a little bit of time answering some questions. Ready, Zev? How are warming temperatures affect affecting the oceans in Alaska, Dad? That is a really good question. Um, let's start by asking you a question. <laughs> what do you know about climate change? It's when we do stuff like drive our cars, work factory machines, do anything that's like burning fossil fuels, and it releases greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Greenhouse gases, uh, they trap heat and radiate it back down to Earth. Here in Alaska, the effects are um, hotter summers and hotter winters. That's right, and it's also having lots of effects in the ocean. Um, we're seeing uh, fish populations where they're not used to be, um, changes in marine mammal migrations. We're actually seeing villages uh, eroding right into the ocean, um, which is causing effects in all aspects of our lives. So you know what we can do um, to try to stop those problems? The most obvious thing is to transition away from oil and gas and other fossil fuels and um, toward renewable energy. It has to be fair and it has to be equitable. So like electric cars That's right. instead of like diesel trucks. We also have to find ways to make sure we see changes and we need to find ways to um, adapt to them through science and funding. And um, I will tell you, Zevi, that uh, having these kinds of conversations with you um, gives me hope that we can make those kinds of changes. What are some fun facts about whales in Alaska? That the ocean is part whale pee. <laughs> whale vomit is used in perfumes. The blue whale is the largest known creature ever to inhabit the planet. Bigger than a megalodon? Yeah. We also did find out that there are eight species of whales in Alaska, beluga, humpback, gray, orca, bowhead, right, and minke whales. And we live here in Southeast Alaska. What whales do we see most often? Humpbacks. They can grow up to 80,000 pounds and up to 60 feet long. Here we are back with our special visual aid. Zev is lying next to a piece of bowhead baleen that I got from a trip way up north. You can see how uh, it's bigger than he is, and the baleen is how the whale filters out its food from the water. Thank you, Model Zev. What species of octopus live near Alaska? Ooh, great question. We love octopuses, don't we? Mm -hmm. So, Zev, what is your favorite thing about an octopus? Probably that they can squeeze into small spaces, just like me. It turns out there are eight species of octopus in Alaska, including the biggest one, which is... The giant Pacific that's right, which can get up to be about 100 pounds. Um, the biggest one that's uh, a known record was 156 pounds and 23 feet across. Whoa. Yeah. Are people able to live and thrive in Alaska? Duh! Okay, that's right. Uh, since obviously you and I and all of our family and friends live and thrive in Alaska, but I don't think that's what the person meant. Alaska's population in 2019 was 731,545 people. What do we find out about uh, remote villages in Alaska? There are 148 towns in Alaska and the smallest have fewer than five people. Many of these remote villages have been inhabited for thousands of years. There are vibrant communities in many places and they still practice subsistence ways of life. And uh, I feel fortunate in my life to have been able to travel to many of these places. One of the things I like best about working at Ocean Conservancy is being able to try to forge partnerships um, and collaborate with people in villages and to learn from them, um, and I hope one day that you and I get to travel to those places together. Does the fact that most of us are locked up have the potential for lasting benefits? Do you think that everything will be okay? It's a really good question. I mean, do you think that everything will be okay? Mm, maybe. One of the good things to come out of this uh, social distancing exercise has been the fact that you and I get to do things like this. I hope everything will be okay. Doing this with you gives me hope, and um, I am um, remain hopeful and I, I can't wait to see what the world has in store for you. Send us more questions and we'll be happy to answer them. Bye! Bye.